Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, welcome back to the final part of Cold of War. Tonight we are going to platinum the game. And this is not a joke because Jordi, aka me, is going to go press start, go to settings, and <laughs> lower the difficulty. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, we're in, it kind of depends on how how far we're going to go. I've decided that I've uh, done enough struggle for uh, this game. And uh, I'm not in the mood to actually drain my entire mental health purely to get all these bosses down. So uh, there you have it. Let's go and uh, kick some ass. Put by the fierce. Start all for the troublesome. King of all no! will rise again! And it's near! <laughs> Too much How AOE damage. <clears throat> I took too many hits early on as well. But by the fierce, not all for the trouble. Oh! 
Line. Oh, my bolt is also offline. That's not really good. Shit. Mm. Okay, yeah, that was that was purely my own fault. That was just dumb. I should have seen that coming. Hundred percent. Because that is just typical Yordi behavior. But yeah, this is now a lot more doable. I think I'll be fine. But by the I need to uh, not use my heavy attack on the game. These are just going to fuck me over 100%. I can parry on the whole time. Do you do that? <laughs> Like, I know this one is not impossible. Yeah. <laughs> 
First two down. Not really These king. two just called himself one because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldis, a kind man, a trusting man. He trusted this usurper, this Rolf. No, Aldis trusted me, and fool that I am, I trusted Rolf. So now you seek revenge, a dangerous path. You're one to talk. I am an authority on the subject. You would do well to listen. I have an authority on the subject. You do well to listen. <laughs> ah, nice. We can max out our spear now. That's nice as well. Now we just need to grab the treasure here that's left. And then we're done with... Schnaffelheim. Heck, if I remember what this place is called completely. So yeah, this is a lot less worse than... Uh, ...all we've been dealing with so far. Difficulty difference is really, really... <sighs> ...makes my heart feel a little bit at ease. I do. I still take do. I still do take quite a lot of damage, but it's nowhere near as much as we did before. Um. We're still. We need to go into the apple core this area. There are no other ways to get to this path, is there? Nope. <laughs> Look, over there. 
Korea, what the fuck are you talking about? You really gotta do some searching around, because I have no idea where this treasure is. Thankfully it glows when yeah, you see it. When you see it. That's our path forwards. So do we want to go backwards first? Up is also forward, so we're first just gonna walk back. See where and what we can find. So we obviously can't move further back anymore. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we found everything else already, so we don't really have to worry about that. Was this the way to the first relic? Where I have so little recollection. Oh, here, yeah. Well, that's a quality spear, but uh, could still be pointier. Could still be pointier. Well, look, here it is the pointiest of all spears. What is this? Defense, running vitality, defense, blah, blah, blah. On a successful spear kill. No extra bonus, but nice stats, though. Doesn't improve my strength, that's kind of a shame. enough money and stuff to actually do that so why not right I don't use the serpent snare that much anymore I think I like my stats better this way cooldown down luck up runic power a little bit up we're using the same one here the original really know what bonus I would want to use. There's 
still using the Rond of Purification. Which is not too bad, honestly. Swords are the same. This is the only one I do think like this is a better one. Damage that the burn status inflicts on enemies because it's so easy to actually get them on. Oh, heading up already? Got time to check? <coughs> nah, we don't. I ain't got no time for that shit. Okay, so we've gone all the way back and there was nothing here. Treasure map complete. Mining glory. Did I just literally walk past that? That is so cringe. <laughs> 100%. Mythgar is the last one with Berserker Gravestone that we cannot do yet. Uh, fellow Moskelheim is the last one where we need to beat Chiquita, whatever her name is. And we still have the Niflheim one. Oh yeah, I remember the Niflheim one. I think we're doing that one uh, second to last before we do the king. So we're gonna do Alfheim, then Vanaheim, and then Niflheim, then Midgar, and Muswolheim is the very, very last one. I think that's the route we're gonna be taking. <laughs> I see something. What? What? Lady, what? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you seeing? <clears throat> like, it would be nice if she actually points at it instead of just. Kratos, I see something. How massive my dick is? Yeah. <clears throat> I see that too. <clears throat> first and the uh, Hajarata okay so this is the fight with the twinsies and the onesie the best weapon in this case is I think the spear it's good that we messed up right now ability is better in this situation though the senor exhale how big my brain is. Oh. 
Thinking how I'm gonna pers attempt this fight, <clears throat> how I want to attempt this fight, and I cannot yet figure out which path you want to take here. That was my bad. Yeah, yeah I don't think Simon would be bad. I think our best bet is to attack the sisters first and try and keep distance from... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The X guy. I think that's my best bet. Watch <laughs> out! Hey! 
Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, what the hell? I need, I really, really need to parry her. Parry, 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 parry. Ugh. Parry like your life depends on it, Jordy. From under the cruel, you stagger the cold and Lower the difficulty, by the way, Lizzie, because I was not gonna arse myself and get too frustrated. Uh, attempt number two. Alvin is coming later. I really need more AoE. <clears throat> this one is fine, but this one is... No, not that one. Yeah, it's probably better this one. This is such an annoying boss because you can't just... Oh, 
Where I can't focus on the fucking X guy because the X guy is just <sighs> continuously attacking, and then you have the other guys that just switch up as well. From under the claw, dagger the core, and the cross rifle. <laughs> That is absolute bullshit. Did you see how much damage that is? Seriously, there's just no opening. I hate this so much. From under the claw, dagger the core. One difficulty lower. Just nowhere near casual yet. I mean, I could go even lower, but like.
So much. Oh, you cock any of its fucking attacks. coming off Ah! 
I just want to hit all of them as nah, that's probably a bad idea. That's probably why they keep switching around the entire time. Really don't understand these dumbass bosses ideas. From under the claw, dag of a and bitter You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! Anything, I can't dodge anything of his. What the fuck? From under the cruel, dagger the cruel and bitter. <laughs> 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 so much Fire, Kratos! It will fire! 
They send chasing balls at you as well. How, like, if you're focusing on one guy, when the targeting system is absolutely garbage, when you try to zoom in to throw a weapon, you target the guy that you're targeting instead of being able to free aim instantly. These bosses are so badly designed. I'm just gonna put it even lower. I'm done. Thankfully, I can change it from here, but I don't fucking give a shit anymore. Give me balance. Like, it's just not fun. You can't dodge one enemy. The other guys are just... Like, what is the point of a boss fight if you almost still die on balance when you've been playing on the hardest difficulty this entire time? Just, it's just telling bad boss design. Game, come on! We have seen this before. Revenge will not bring you peace. Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself. <laughs> I'm fucking raging here, yo. Grab the sword and let's get us out of here, yeah? I can't believe that I had to go all the way down to this.
like, I know I'm not this bad at gaming. I'm not this bad at these games either. <laughs> I mean, I could probably, you know, nah, I doubt it. It's not like this is a game like Kingdom Hearts where there's broken stuff hidden in the fucking game that allows you to clap shit easily. <laughs> I'm so tilted. It's not even funny anymore. What did Jordi say to the goose? Please spare me. You are too strong. I'm not even gonna put my difficulty back anymore. I'm not even gonna attempt it. It's what just done. Oh, it's real good for wood. Better for bone. Like there are two more left other than the one in uh, Midgar. And I'm 100% sure that these are gonna piss me off as well. Because this one is the one with all the summonings. That on its own wouldn't be too bad if I like... <sighs> ...and deal enough damage. I'm so happy when we're gonna be playing something else. And that is not because I dislike this game. Like, the story, the gameplay, and everything is very smooth. But some of these bosses, yo. This is also the boss we uh, attempted to do the least amount of times. Because I just kept getting fucked in the butt by stupid things. And poison and not me can being able to figure out and rage <sighs> everything and nothing right side. Uh, busy, uh, not anything. It's explosive. be careful the oven. yeah 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 the oven Happy now, Lizzie. Quick suck of a ball. Get over here, Lizzie. Oh, 
berserkers. This this is what I, I mean with unbalanced. Search for the Valkyries too to go. I can see this. If this boss, right? I can first try without getting near to death on balance mode, right? Which is the hard mode, I guess. There is one difference with the Valkyries. And I couldn't do it on the previous two Brother, difficulties of the, the previous boss. But you don't know the full tale. I know how it feels to be wronged and how it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. I... Uh. The multi multi boss fights are just such a pain in the ass. I'm I'm never gonna get over this. This just completely ruins the entire game for me. What I was saying was a 10 out of 10 game at the end of the story definitely falls below five now. That's how much this pissed me off. I should really go watch the video that the completionist then made on this game. What he did and what he thinks about it. I mean, that guy is on a whole nother level of mine, so... Maybe he's not that pissed off, but... I'm so pissed off. Did I go into the wrong direction? to Niflheim, right? Yeah, and then the mist fields. This might actually be another one of those bosses that might actually suck ass. Because this is the Bifrost boss. The one that continuously deals Bifrost damage. There's not an easy way to actually clear that. Okay, so 
can actually hack the car out of the life force charge. That's good to know. This See, was the last, was it not? Only the king remains. I might have been able to do this one on the second highest difficulty as well. well I've been with a little bit of practice. Said, brother. Maybe it's time to let this go. Slopping up a dead man's soul with this old sword isn't gonna change the past. It is good to hear you say that. But I plan to face it regardless. What? After all your lecturing on vengeance and spite. It is not wise to let a malevolent spirit wander Midgard. But I needed to know you wanted this for the right reasons. Huh. Appreciate the sentiment, brother. Appreciate the sentiment, brother. Leaves us with two fights. Valkyrie Queen. What's her face? And the old dude. <laughs> King Hrolf's gravestone. It's reborn. Yes, there's only no, one thing left really to do. I was supposed to have mind who cares. You can't have it. Holy shit! Oh, my God. 
already so angry there's no point even if it's not that hard there's no point in like trying to stay calm I'm already this angry <laughs> I was so close I just needed one more hit but at least I now know who pulls this out so this
Not sure if that was justice or vengeance. The two are not always at odds. What do you intend to do with Skofnung now? I intend to use it. No! Don't you understand the legacy that thing carries? Not to mention the souls of evil berserkers. I will use it for good. That won't erase its history. No. But the story of this sword is still being written. Future generations will win its doing good it. deeds against the bad. And decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother. Brother. You don't often hear him actually say brother. The sword unleashes its power from the souls within. Upgrade. Let's increase the strength of its effects. I don't know what this does. I'm curious. I'm absolutely curious, so we're gonna be using it. There's just one more boss left to do. And if I have to take uh, what we've been seeing so far f as uh, truth, that probably means she is gonna be fairly easy as well compared to everything else that we've been doing. And obviously, compared to the fact that uh, I'm playing it on two difficulty levels lower, just on uh, just hard mode instead of god mode. Go kill the Valkyrie Queen. No matter what you try, the results, the results will, be, will the be the same. Good. I'll see you head for what you've done. Oh. Nail! Oh. And you'll have to. set is interesting it's sigil magic no matter what you Switching arrows! 
lost in my neck, stop it! The Alpha! For Alphard! For Alphard! Unworthy! Regretting someone? Yeah! Asgard's blood is on you! Okay. Give up already? I have a feeling this one is gonna be the worst of them all. She already has such a varied moveset. <laughs> Let good. Uh, for what you've done. Nail! Submit! Getting closer and closer. I think I am swapping armor sets though. And maybe swamp to wrath. This way at least I get a healing burst. And have more defense. Uh, and socket this one. Wrath activation, shockwave consumes status effects on enemies to cause massive damage. I think we're going with this one. Oh, 
Oh shit. Why couldn't I see anything all of a sudden? change it, it we're gonna go over to Valor again because uh, Wrath doesn't do anything either and I think I'm just gonna put up a strength one right something something yeah luck sure don't know if it actually gives anything extra but Rise! Rise! Out die! Oh, I get it. Fuck. Oh, I wasn't on time. Okay, so X is my best weapon. Let's settle it. I think I'm gonna stick with Fury. It will put her in break mode. You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! Fuck! Oh, 
Careful, brother. Covered in fire rods. Nay, are you kidding me? All oh, the fucking war. Ah, uh, so close as well. left entire realms in ruin. Sister, I know the hate that burns you from within. I have felt those flames, known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred, vengeance, you have to let it go.
Yes, sister. clean the true queen bear and the wolf Gna. New enemy war. Gna's journal. She always played a victim as if she has no hand in the shaping of her faith in her eyes. Her brother abandoned her because of his selfishness, not because she was domineering and controlling. She was exiled from her own realm because her husband was evil, not because she was caught conspiring behind his back. Her son was unjustly killed because of a vengeful foreigner not because she drove her own son to madness. And when I kill her, Freya will tell whom will listen to her in hell. That is, that it was because her formal hand, former handmaiden betrayed her and not because she deserved every single thing that happened to her. Wow. Gna. What does this do? Hold L1 for several seconds to charge the shield, then press L1 and L3 to fire a volley of Valkyrie shards at the enemy. Wow. The Queen's armor. And the Queen's Roar! Damn. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's the Platinum Trophy. We uh, finally have it after... Um, I think this is vault number 19. <laughs> so, let's talk, right, about uh, the game. Oh, real quick. I love the, the exploration, that's incredibly fun. I really enjoyed, enjoyed looking around, finding new stuff, etc, etc. That was really great. My only issue was that, I needed, that we needed to return too often to different worlds because new quests unlocked or we got a new equipment item that we can use to open things up. That is, for me personally, as a completionist and someone who likes to explore a lot, kind of annoying because I rather run around the area the entire time until we found everything and then we can go to the next area uh secondly i really enjoyed the story the story was so good it made me cry almost the characters just were fantastic i know that i said somewhere halfway through that kratos didn't feel like he changed much but he did decide to change very quickly at some point like after uh, Artreus returned most likely that's where the change happened um, well not necessarily it's after they promised after they made their promise that's when the change actually happened I really like that Artreus did a pretty decent job growing as a character as well mm, same for Freya and everyone else that was just incredibly awesome 
Odin still prick, still uh, like I can't read Odin. Odin, Odin's voice acting and the way that they animated this character was so fucking good because whenever he went like to betray or to do exactly the opposite of what he was saying that he was doing, right? You just didn't see it coming. Uh, that was like insane. Usually you can like you can feel it. That's that they animated it in that kind of way. But it's just so well done. I really liked that. Now, thirdly, the progress of the game. Uh, yeah, we played through the story completely on the highest difficulty. Which means we also did almost everything. I think we, if I have to say like 90% of the game, we did on the highest difficulty. And... I really enjoyed that. Because I really had to get good. The fights were not just run, done, and over. Which is also probably the reason why the game lasted as long for us. Because I actually had to, like, try really hard. My issue comes up with the few final bosses. They are additional bosses, let's put it like that. They are not main game bosses, but they are side quest bosses, right? They were not great. Uh, I think we reached like, we did half-ish, five, six? I think five. Five of the 12 berserkers we could do on the highest difficulty. Uh, looking back, we might have been able to do the poison one with the summonings as well on the highest difficulty. I just, I was not gonna arse myself to do that. Uh, we did the two bosses, those two lovers, we did on the second highest difficulty. And the others we did on the on hard mode. So you have easy, which was story, then you have casual, which was normal. This is hard. Uh, what was this difficulty called again? Balance. So we did everything else on balance, and after fighting those bosses and not attempting them on higher difficulties, and we couldn't attempt them on the highest difficulty because you can't go back to that difficulty after you change your difficulty. Uh, by the amount of effort that I need to put in to win and the amount of times that I almost lost by the end rate, I don't think I would have been able to do this on the highest difficulty, no matter how hard I would have tried. I re would respect the people that could actually do it. You guys are insane. I don't know how many hours you need to put into this to actually figure it out. To figure out all the systems in this game, how the game exactly works, most likely. Because that is my little pickup from, like, Kingdom Hearts, right? All the people that do these insane runs know the game inside out to every strategy and every trick and every glitch that could be used to, like, beat the game. Uh... I'm, I, I was not willing. I'm not willing. It, it bums me out because the entire game was really good to the point where I was uh, on the highest difficulty was just like, okay, I got to figure it out. I got to strategize a little bit from who do I fight, how do I pick it up, how do I do blah, blah, blah. But let's say uh, those uh, three bosses at the same time, they were extremely painful. They just hit too hard. Dodging them was insanely annoying because it was always like either one of the three was in the back and they would decide to suddenly attack you. Which is also another thing like I just couldn't predict when they would change targets all of a sudden. Very frustrating, very annoying and I really had to time my dodges, my, not my dodges, my parries mostly perfectly, because otherwise I would just get hit. Uh, oh yeah, that boss was literally the boss where I decided to go. We're going one difficulty lower, and we're not looking back. So that was, for me, was that a very unbalanced boss? 
the boss where we went one difficulty lower first, I feel like I could have done that boss if the swapping of targets of the boss that was going to attack you was consistent. Because it wasn't. I had a feeling like if you attack both of them, they suddenly decide to attack both of you. Attack with both of them. But it was just very hard to, like, pinpoint exactly when they were going to switch. In the early point of the fight, they would definitely teleport away, scream the other's name, and it would be, they would, like, charge at you. But somewhere halfway in between of one of the two's first HP bars, right? Uh, they would just completely change up. What was also annoying about that fight is just that the damage was very little and you want to spam your arrows, right? But if you spam your arrows, they tend to, like, decide to swap up as well or do a double target on you again. And... I couldn't exactly pinpoint it how or what. It was just a very enduring and long fight. I just did not enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, hardest difficulty, definitely the hardest difficulty. I'm not going to say nobody can beat that, because I know that I am pretty good at gaming. Like, I'm above average, but I'm not pro. I'm not a pro at these kind of games. I'm not pro at every game. I'm, like, average on most games, and there are a few games where I'm, like, above average. But that's the way I, I play games, right? I play a lot of games. I play Fiery game. I have a big variety of games that I play. And I am a fairly good gamer, if you ask me. But I will not never reach that moment like I can be the best in a certain game. I do not have the patience for that. I do not want to play through a game that often to actually get that good. I tried multiple times, but I just don't have the patience for that. Uh, yeah, I do feel like they kind of acknowledge the fact that the game, that the end part of the boss fights can be too hard, if you ask me, because otherwise they wouldn't allow you to change the difficulty during the playthrough, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have done that. And I'm actually really happy about it because otherwise I had to play through the game again on a different difficulty to just fucking, you know, and that's not, the, uh, it would have literally made me cry. Mm, yeah, so that's it. The plans for the next streams uh, is going to be a little bit of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC on the PS5. Then we are going to be playing Yakuza 5 completion again from zero to hero. And that game is going to be the hardest one so far, accordingly. So again, we're using a guide. This time, unlike Dead Souls, we are going to play through the entire game with nothing. Uh, the fighting and such will probably not be as hard, like we're used to the Yakuza combat even if we're playing on the hardest difficulty every single time, that is at, at least that point unlocked, because we need to do that for achievements. And uh, that game is going to swap switch off with another game, most likely, because I need to do the mini games throughout the story. And it's going to suck. It's going to make Yordi rage, and he is going to cry like a little fucking bitch. So, if I don't feel like playing that game, we're gonna have a drawing stream in between, or maybe some Bleach, Brave Souls, and other sh games that we can play. Just for little breathers and breaks. And, uh, yeah, that's the next game that we're gonna be playing. We're gonna go and complete Yakuza 5. And then it's Yakuza 6, and then Like a Dragon, and then all the other games that are gonna come out. Uh, so yeah. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I am... This is for the vault. I'm not actually stopping the stream. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the videos, please go like it. Uh, watch any of the other videos on my channel. Uh, they are mostly full playthroughs of games that we play through on the stream. So, uh, 
Talk to you all next time. Good night and uh, adios.